Hello everyone, this is Amiti Sensei. Today I'll be talking about all the gestures you can use with your iPad. I'm sure you've been using your fingers with your iPads, and you might know some of the other gestures you can use too. For example, if you press here with one finger, something happens. Or with four fingers, you can do this thing. Using both hands, you can do this. And there are tons of gestures you don't know about yet, so I want to teach you about them today. Once you watch this video, you'll be a master of iPad. And for people who are already experts, please watch this video to test your knowledge. Alright, let's start with our dog. You can slide up with one finger to show it, and slide it back down to hide it. And if you drag up to the top from the dock like this, you can go back to the home screen. If you bring it up to the middle instead, it shows you your apps. All the apps you have open on one screen. You can change to another one too. Drag from the dock to the middle, and it's the app screen. If you want to go back to the last app you were using, you just swipe right from the dock like this, or slide. Do that and you can go back through the apps in order. Drag left and you go forward through the apps, I think. But if you drag left and right from the dock, you can cycle through open apps quickly. This doesn't just work with one finger, you can do this with four. If you press and drag right with four fingers anywhere on the screen, you can shift to the app right before this one. If you drag up from the dock with four fingers, you can return to the home screen. And if you stop dragging around the middle, you get the app screen for changing apps. It's the same as with the dock, but with four fingers. And then if you fling open apps with one finger like this, they will close. You can also do this with two fingers. It works with two, and you can also use four and close many apps at the same time. And if you really try, you can do it with six fingers. And you can close them like this. So for people who can't be bothered, just do it all at once. I think it would be ideal to use four fingers. Now let's do this for a view. This is about dividing up the screen. I'm sure a lot of you already use this, but you can open different apps on the left and right like this. And if you grab and drag at the top like this, you can move them left and right. If you slide a middle line like this, you can adjust the size of each window. And if you move one over top the other, you have one app open in a window on top of the other. This is called slide over. Now you probably know all this, so this is just a review. But from here, with two apps open in a split view like this, if you want to open one more app in slide over mode, drag it out from the dock and let it go in the middle of the two apps like this. Now we have two apps open in split screen, and then another one open on top for a total of three. And then we can drag this slide over app on top of the others, and it will take that spot. Not a lot of people know about this, but it's super useful, so please keep it in mind. This one is meant more for advanced users. We are going to take an app from the dock and go back to the home screen. Then we are going to open a completely different app. If you open your photo app and let go of the one you're holding, you can open the photo app and the other app in split view instantly. Let's do it again. Take an app from the dock and drag it up, and then return to the home screen and find another app to open. Then let go once it's open. You can also drag it over with split view already on. Now we have two different apps open in the split view. Let's talk about pictures. There is an easy way to select multiple pictures at once. Right now I have the photo app on the left and the note taking app on the right. If you want to select multiple pictures at once, take one picture with one hand and then keep picking with the other. Now we have multi-select. Then you just let go of the note taking app with your finger. Just like this you can paste the four pictures you selected into the app all at once. This is called multi-select. 
It doesn't just work with pictures, but files and other things too. Take one with your right hand, drag it over, choose more with the left and let go. But it ups your work speed really quickly, so please keep it in mind. I've got one more tip for picture selection. First, you take a picture and then return to the home screen. You've still got it selected with your right hand, right? Now we're going to open another app. Anything works, like an I am app, this time we'll use a note taking app. And when you let go, you can paste it into the app. This is super fast. There's obviously a paste option in the note taking app itself. But if you use it, you still have to go to the trouble of finding the picture. But if you find it in the photo app, you can just bring it over here quickly and paste it in that way. It's a lot faster. Lots of people don't really know this, but if you did, please leave a comment. I actually learned about this recently and I was blown away. Now let's talk about text. Recently, a lot of iPad keyboards have come out. So people who type with a screen might be a dying breed, but there is something you have to know. I will show you. When you select test, you probably double tap and set the select field like this. This is totally fine to you, but if you take two fingers and just tap lightly in the middle of the keyboard like this, the letters around your cursor will be selected automatically. Just double tap with two fingers. While you have the text selected, if you keep pressing to move your fingers back and forth, you can change the selection field like this. So that's the little trick. If you know this, you can shift the selection field really easily. Rather than touching right where the letters are and selecting them one by one, it's easier to do it this way. And if you press and hold the space bar and then move it around, the cursor, if you look at the screen, you can see it. You can move it anywhere like this. So if you just double tap on the keyboard, you can do it really easily. Next up is copy and paste. To copy and paste, take three fingers and bring them together. This copies the selections, so just go to where you want to paste and drag your two fingers to separate them like they're being pulled apart to paste. Let's review. Double tapping in the middle of the keyboard lets you select text, and then you can adjust the selection with your fingers. With this, you can use three fingers to copy like so, and then paste somewhere else by dragging from the outside in. It's a pretty high level technique, right? If you can do this though, it's almost like you don't need a keyboard, but it's kind of tough to memorize all these things, so just give it a try and see. And there is actually more. We also have the undo and redo functions. If you made a mistake pasting and want to go back, if you swipe with three fingers from the right like this, you can undo it. Can you see it? It's going back one change at a time. If you keep doing this from right to left, you go back one change. But if you swipe left to right with three fingers, you can redo. It reduces one reiteration at a time. I think you can see it. So you can either swipe right to left or left to right. And if you're one of those people that doesn't use a keyboard that much, go ahead and shrink it. If you compress it with two fingers like this, it will shrink as you can see. It's called a floating keyboard, and you can move it wherever you want. As you can see, there is a lot of gestures associated with text on the keyboard. There are some I haven't talked about. But I don't think those are as useful, so I took the ones I thought were the best for this video. Alright, that's all for today. How did you like it? I'll be happy if there was even one thing you didn't know that you're going to use. It's a bit tough to remember all these things, and I'm sure there are people who knew about this but don't use them often because they forget. But please take this opportunity to brush up and remember. And if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And feel free to leave your comments down below. There might be gestures I'm not even aware of, so if you know them, please leave me a comment as well. I think it should be useful for lots of other people too, so let us know about your favorite gestures. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, 
I make videos on tips and hacks of iPads, so please do that too. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video until the end. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.